northern white rhino. Until March 2018, only three northern white rhinos were left in the world. Now there are only two. Sudan, the last male northern white rhino, was euthanized at Ol Pajeda Conservancy in Kenya in March 2018 after suffering a series of complications caused by old age. Sudan was 45 years old, which is equivalent to 90 in human years. At their height, northern white rhinos roamed through Uganda, Central African Republic, Sudan, and Chad. However, their population was dramatically reduced by illegal poaching, which reached its height in the 1970s and 1980s. Their population has been in decline ever since. In 2008, the northern white rhino officially went extinct in the wild. Sudan was survived by his daughter and granddaughter, which are the only two northern white rhinos left. Both females are past childbearing age and are possibly the last of their kind unless some northern white rhinos miraculously turn up somewhere. Scientists are trying to stop the extinction of the critically endangered rhino by artificially inseminating female southern white rhinos with the sperm of the northern white rhino. This is the first stage of a grand plan to implant the embryo of the northern white rhino into a southern white rhino. Javan and Sumatran rhinos are two other species of rhinos at the brink of extinction. The Javan rhino has a population of just 67, while the Sumatran rhino has just 100. The southern white rhino is much better off. There are between 19,000 and 21,000 left in the wild. Fernandina Island Tortoise the Fernandina Island tortoise, Chelonoidus fantasticus, is native to Fernandina Island, one of the several islands that form the Galapagos Islands. Before this discovery, the last time a Fernandina Island tortoise was spotted was in 1906. It disappeared thereafter. In fact, some began to doubt whether it really existed or was just another joke or misidentified species. A team from Galapagos National Park and the Galapagos Conservancy proved that the Fernandina Island tortoise really existed when they visited the island to find the tortoise. They discovered an adult female that is over 100 years old. Researchers also found tortoise footprints and droppings, indicating that more tortoises could be in the area. Interestingly, unlike most other animals that are at the brink of extinction due to human action, the Fernandina Island tortoise is at risk because of its habitat. Fernandina Island contains active volcanoes. Lava sometimes flows down the sides of the mountains, killing the tortoises. Humans played a part too. From the 17th to the 19th centuries, Fernandina Island was a fertile hunting ground for passing ships, which often stopped by to hunt tortoises. Over 100,000 tortoises were hunted during that time. Today, feral non-native animals like pigs, dogs, cats, and cattle also prey on the tortoise eggs or compete with the tortoises for food. The Fernandina Island tortoise is not the only tortoise at risk of extinction. The other nine species of tortoise on the Galapagos Islands are also endangered. A few centuries ago, there were 15 species of tortoise on the islands. Five are already extinct. A moor leopard. Several species of leopard across the world have been experiencing a declining population over the past decades. They are often killed by poachers and humans who consider them a threat. They have also lost large tracts of their natural habitats to deforestation. The Amur leopards are the worst hit. Only 60 cats are estimated to be left in the wild, making this subspecies one of the most endangered cats in the world. The majority of the surviving leopards live in the land of the Leopard National Park, an Amur leopard nature reserve in Russia. The reserve covers 60% of the cat's natural habitat. While considerably safe from humans, the leopards are at risk from other predators in the forest, including the Amur, Siberian tiger. Determining the population of the Amur leopard has been difficult because it is one of the world's most elusive cats. To help with the count, park officials installed motion-sensitive cameras at strategic locations. Vaquita. The vaquita is one animal you have probably never heard of. It is a small porpoise that only lives in the Gulf of California. It presently holds the title of the rarest marine mammal in the world. Only 10 are left in the wild, and that number is going down. The vaquitas are endangered because of the illegal poaching of the totoaba fish, which is also native to the vaquitas' natural habitat. The totoaba fish is in high demand in China, where traditional medicine men claim that it cures several illnesses. Poachers often use gill nets to catch the totoaba fish. Unfortunately, the vaquitas often get entangled in the illegal nets. The vaquitas are useless to the poachers, who just dump their carcasses back into the water. For the poachers, it is all about the money. The stomach of the totoaba fish sells for $46,000 per kilogram. For the vaquitas, it could be the difference between survival and extinction. Lots of them get entangled in those nets. In fact, 
over 20 vaquitas could have become entangled in nets since 2017 when their population was put at 30. The Mexican government has declared a part of the Gulf of California as a refuge area for vaquitas. However, it does not seem like it will save the animals. Poachers still hunt for totowaba fish within the refuge, and the government seems to be incapable of stopping them. Hainan Gibbon The Hainan Gibbon, Nomascus hainanus, is the world's rarest primate. Only 25 are left in the wild. They are cramped into a pitiable two-square-kilometer area of Bawangling National Nature Reserve on Hainan Island in the South China Sea. The Hainan Gibbon suffered a massive population decline after losing most of its habitat to deforestation. Poachers also took their toll on its population as the animals were widely hunted for food, for their supposed medicinal properties, or just to be sold as pets. The massive population loss has led to inbreeding and a decline in general health. Almost every gibbon on the island is related. Curiously, the Hainan gibbon is not the only gibbon at risk of extinction. 18 of their 19 species are endangered. Sehuenca's water frog. The Sehuenca's water frog is native to the cloud forests of Bolivia. In recent years, the frog has suffered a population decline after losing large areas of its habitat to pollution and climate change. The loss of population has been worsened by the deadly chytrid fungus and an invasive trout fish that eats the frog's eggs. There are only six Sehuenca's water frogs left in the world. Interestingly, five of them were found recently. There was only one Sayawenka's water frog left as of February 14, 2018. He was named Romeo and was called the world's loneliest frog. The expedition team found five more frogs. Two were male and three were female. Each female was paired with a male, including the third which was paired with Romeo. Marsican brown bear. The Marsican brown bear, Ursus arctos marsicanus, is a subspecies of the brown bear. It lives in the Apennine Mountains of Italy. Hundreds of bears lived in the mountains a few centuries ago but they soon got into conflict with shepherds and farmers who considered them pests. Only 50 are left today. Italy is making conservation efforts and trying to tag the bears to monitor their movements. Unfortunately, in 2018, a tagging operation ended badly after a bear died during a botched capture attempt. The bear suddenly suffered breathing difficulties and died after it was sedated to be tagged with a radio collar. South China Tiger the South China tiger, Panthera tigris amoyensis, is a subspecies of the tiger. It is believed to be the major tiger from which other subspecies descended. However, that would not matter anymore if it goes extinct, which could be soon. Only 24 are estimated to remain in the world. The South China tiger became endangered in the 20th century when deforestation put it in close proximity to humans. It was massively killed at the time because it often fed on livestock. The tiger's population never recovered. In the 1970s, there were 4,000 left in the wild. Today, there are none. All 24 survivors are in captivity. However, there are claims that 20 South China tigers are in the wild. Some even argue that the wild population is far more than 20. Nobody has reported a verifiable sighting of the tiger in 20 years. The captive population is not faring any better. The current population is way below the 50 tigers that were in captivity in the mid-1990s. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.